what's up guys man uh, i got a lot of things to talk about yes the david o whiskey and bonham boy they are really doing us proud in nigeria here i think they are taking their names across the news and crowning of the world right now based on the achievements they've been uh, you know grossing in based on numbers and i think i have to commend them at a point like this uh i want to share some things with you because uh some people have been looking forward to seeing the video whiskey and brother boy performed in a particular song together and that is gonna be so awesome if that is made possible that is something i believe and some persons also believe that with me i have some interesting stories before i proceed i want to use this time out to really appreciate you guys for watching my videos and sharing them across social media platform being a part of it is all interesting for me and if you are new here why don't you take out time click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos yes recently the video had o2 arena concert that is well appreciated by a lot of people out there and uh, i think uh, some persons are making troubles out of it saying that man <laughs> The video didn't sell out O2 Arena, but from the website of O2 Arena's, uh, you know, management, I think uh, the video uh, did uh, uh, sold out O2 Arena, and then we watch the interesting video of that actually making around on social media. A lot of people are see talking about some interesting stories around that, but the video has responded to our critics on this uh, whole episode of the video didn't sell out O2 Arena. Guys, in recent tweet by David O, you will understand that yes, uh, he has actually sided himself with uh, the turnout of the O2 Arena and decided to say yes, let's inspire a lot of people with that and what are we going to sell out next. And David O made us to understand that man is having a tour and the date is going to be out soon and we all are going to enjoy the tour at a point like this uh from what the video posted on his twitter page tweeted recently you will get to understand a lot of things about the video he said i will forever continue to inspire what arena next that is what the video is asking that man after sending out go to arena where do you want me to say and a lot of people said man go to old trafford and sell out old trafford Yes, David is all excited, uh, happy that yes, I saw it at last, you know, in spite of the kind of challenges, the kind of limitations we had, Omicron virus, when Nigeria was actually red listed in uh, no fly zone and a no fly country, and that was actually disturbing before the concert was gladly sold by David O. And I hope this one, uh, he said that that shit was full full you know this is in response to a lot of people saying that man <laughs> the video that would do arena and all food or all those kind of things but we heard a report or a situation that man rose leading to the o2 arena got some gridlocks uh gridlocks at the end of the day and then uh people were still able to move through and towards uh, the middle of the show we got a full uh, o2 arena 20,000 capacity that is all sold out for by the video and the video is in uk actually chilling out with friends like latani bile kubagiri kubagiri uh who uh, had issues with one of his artists that is a person of portable and right now portable has lost a lot of things uh wishing that yes i would have been like you know with uh Koba Gede to be at the O2 Arena uh, at a point like this. Let's have a glimpse. Zazu virus. Zazu virus. I'm okay. Okay, we get there. Zazu virus. And then, still in that tweet, uh, David says something about Israel, the NWS, uh, in a presentation. And the logistics manager is not only a manager, but also <laughs> a clown. 
and uh, according to the video said um israel juju <laughs> intro of life that is actually a great one and interesting one at that uh what is your own take about all of this what do you believe about uh this whole story i need that in the comment section <laughs> Yes, let's talk about um, uh, David O. Whiskey and Bonner Boy having to do a song together. David O. was at an interview with uh, BBC. This spoke something about Whiskey and uh, Bonner Boy saying that, man, uh, yes, if I happen to have opportunity to say, man, let's do a song together, go and ask those guys whether they will join me. Because from that statement, I got to understand that David O. is actually ready to have a song with Bonaboy Whiskey at the end of the day and the world is looking out for this collabo and that is going to be one of the biggest and uh, one of the uh, highest collabo in recent history that is something I believe about that but to an extent um, based on the kind of uh, you know picking of artists again themselves by their music by their fans uh, I think uh, that is quite uh, disturbing to an extent because the video hosting uh, O2 Arena show uh, gave opportunity to a lot of people to say yes let's use this opportunity to measure uh, the video against the uh, whiskey because whiskey sold out O2 Arena three times but you have to understand that towards the video selling out O2 Arena uh, a lot of things happened Nigeria was suspended uh, Nigerians suspended from traveling to the UK and all those kind of things and this the video was able to surmount all the challenges yes the video performed more than 11 p.m. the coffee time but was fined about 190 million naira, and which he said I will gladly pay at a point like this we've not heard that the video didn't pay for that after doing that he bought a Maybach for himself yes and and then uh, Bonner Boy bought a uh, kind of Lamborghini uh, Novitec and that is a huge one. $472,000 is also a huge number at the end of the day. That is about 260 something millionaire. I think uh, these guys are really into funds at the end of the day. And then Whiskey uh, sold out also um, a kind of a show in Dubai and Whiskey was all out. Why the video was in UK, Whiskey was in Dubai selling out a show and Whiskey uh, headlined a show that has um, American rapper Tiger under it. I think uh, yes for a lot of pioneers in the nigeria entertainment industry they really paid a price and we have to commend them for this particular price which they've paid in recent time yes um it reached up to karim up to karim actually fought 50 cent at the time and uh, a lot of people will understand that from a different point of view guys before i finally jump off i want to really appreciate you guys for watching my videos sharing my videos across social media platform being a part of it and if you are new here why don't you click out the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon go and check me out on other social media platforms join the conversation and be a part of it i love you guys keep supporting free west